I've bought some of the rarest and deadliest fish in the world, including thousand dollar catfish, giant prehistoric monsters, and this Abba Abba knife fish that I thought was the deadliest fish in the world. But after further research, I found out that it wasn't. So I kept searching and not too long after, I found my answer and that is the stonefish. Out of 1,200 venomous species of fish in the world, this one is the most lethal with enough venom to kill a human in under an hour. And that's because they're equipped with 13 spines along their body, with each one containing a deadly amount of venom. And the scariest part is you might not even see it coming. They are masters of disguise and they can camouflage themselves as rocks. The more I learn about this fish, the more I understand why it's so deadly. And if you guys know anything about me, you would know that I love to collect the craziest fish possible to keep us my pets. And well, my next target is the stonefish. And now the question is, how do I even find one? Will I be able to keep it as a pet? Is it even possible? Will I go to jail? Will I get stung by it and die? These are all really good questions and I don't have the answer to any of them. But what I do know is by the end of this video, I will acquire a stonefish no matter what it takes. So I'm going to do more research, create a game plan, and I will see you guys in a few days. I spent the next few days gathering as much information on the stonefish as possible. And as I learned more and more about this fish, I realized how dangerous owning one would actually be. And that's probably why I found no information on how to keep one. But that made me want one even more. I wanted to be the first ever person to keep a stonefish as a pet. However, there was a slight problem. I have learned that the stonefish is a saltwater fish. And if you didn't know, I only have freshwater aquariums. So th that's a that's a problem. Now I want to clarify, there is a brackish water fish that looks similar to the stonefish and it's also venomous, but it's nowhere near as venomous as the real stonefish and often in the aquarium trade they're mistaken for one another. So I just wanted to point that out there. They're not the same. We've actually caught one of these in the tunnel before, but this time we want the real deal. We want the one that could kill me if it stings me and this guy is not going to do it. But that got me thinking, can a real stonefish fish also be brackish water. So I did some digging and it turns out there is a couple species of stonefish that can actually live in brackish water. If you didn't know, brackish water is a mix between fresh water and salt water. And if you guys saw my last video, you would know we just set up our first ever brackish water aquarium for our new frogfish. So that means theoretically, if we could somehow find the species of brackish water stonefish, we could actually keep it as a pet. But now my concern is I don't think they sell them uh, at fish stores because I mean, why would they? It's the deadliest fish in the world. So I mean, yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't sound legal at all. But it was worth a try. So we headed to our local pet supermarket in search of a stonefish. All right, we're in. I found the aquarium section and I gotta be honest, it wasn't that big and I wasn't seeing any deadly stonefish, but I did see this cute little crawfish, yeah. He, he was cool. But with no luck, I decided to ask the employees for some help. I had a quick question. Do you guys sell stonefish here? No. The stonefish, no? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was a total fail. But don't worry, I have another idea that's way better. If I can't find a stonefish in a fish store, maybe, just maybe, I could find one online. And after one quick search, I found a website that had a stonefish for sale. Come on, please, please, please. Oh! No way. Look, stonefish, saltwater fish for sale. It's freaking like purple. It does say saltwater on it, so I don't know if we could get that one. We're looking for the brackish kind. I can't believe it. They are literally selling a stonefish. It's out of stock. Who is buying stonefish? Who is crazy enough to buy a stonefish? <laughs> There's got to be something wrong with you. $450 for a stonefish. Okay. I'm still gonna buy it. Well, we found a stonefish online. However, someone already bought it, but that's a good sign. That means that they're out there. So my next plan is to search through my three favorite online fish stores, and hopefully we could find ourselves a stonefish. And well, the first website had a ton of crazy fish. We're starting our search, and this website has some really cool stuff. Wolffish, there's dragon knife fish, arapaimas, that would be illegal. But this is looking really promising, you guys. I don't know if they're gonna have a stonefish. However, to spice things up, we're not just going to be buying a stonefish in today's video. Any other crazy fish that I see on these three websites, we're also going to be buying and we're going to do one massive unboxing. So let's keep scrolling and hopefully we can find ourselves some crazy fish. Check this out, you guys. We found this Megalodorus Irwini Ripsaw catfish. That thing looks crazy. I mean, look at this vampire fish, statinoid. Every single fish is just crazy. Lungfish. I've already added a bunch of fish to my cart and I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. It's going to be a surprise. We kept 
scrolling through the website and we were seeing some really cool fish, including some very expensive fish that I didn't even know existed. But after scrolling through the entire website, we didn't find the stonefish. However, we did find a bunch of other really cool fish and we're gonna buy them right now and they should be arriving in a couple days. It was then time to search through the second website and immediately we saw this. An XXL giant gourami, 22 inches and $600, you guys. Immediately, this website has some really cool stuff, so I'm really excited to keep scrolling and see what else we can find. What the heck is that? That bite shirt has gills. Do you see that? I've never seen anything like this, you guys. This is a platinum bite shirt and it has gills. Like, look at that. I really want it. However, it is $600 and I'm kind of trying to save up my money in case we do find a stonefish. So I might pass on it, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll buy it. You guys will see. This website was definitely my favorite so far. Almost every fish is something that I've never even seen before. So if we're going to find a stonefish online, it's going to be on this website. So now we're searching through their most expensive stuff. And I mean, look at this. XL Lens Catfish, $1,300. Aludius Placo, $1,200. A Platinum Tiger Shovel Nose Red Tail Hybrid. I've never seen that before. I got some bad news, you guys. Second website down. We scrolled through every single page and we didn't find a Brackish Water Stonefish. However, just like the first website, we do have a cart and it's full of other crazy fish and we're gonna buy it right now. And now we have one website left. And if we don't find the stone fish there i only have one other option the third website was a bit of a letdown i didn't really see any other crazy fish and they didn't have the brackish water stonefish so i'm only gonna buy a couple fish from this website and in a few days all the fish from the three websites should be here and after we unbox all those fish i have one more idea on how to get a stonefish and if that doesn't work i don't know what will so i will see you guys in a few days and two days later the first box of fish finally arrived Oh my God, that is heavy. Okay, that is heavy. There's a lot of fish in there. Holy crap. I also just realized I don't know what store this is from. So it could be the first store, it could be the second one, it could be the third one, but we're about to find out. And right beside me here, we got a little fish tank set up and all the fish in the box, we're gonna empty out into here. That way you guys can get a good look at them. Here we go. I am so excited, you guys. We haven't ordered fish online in a while. All right, here we go, you guys. Three, two, one, the big reveal. Oh, oh, there's a lot of fish in here. Oh my gosh, there's like one, two, three, four, five. I think there's five or six bags of fish in here. We're gonna start on the top here. Oh, I remember getting this guy. Can you see him? That's a little baby Fahaka puffer fish. Oh my gosh. We have Fahaka puffer fish, but not that small. He was too cute not to buy. Look how tiny that Fahaka puffer is. I've never seen one that small. That is so cool. All right, let's get him in the tank. And there you go, little guy. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, that is awesome, you guys. A little freshwater puffer fish to start it off. Let's see what else we got in there. What is that? Oh, I remember. Oh, look at that. That's some sort of catfish. I don't know the name of it. I forgot, honestly. But I don't think I've ever seen this before. So I definitely had to get it. If you guys know what this is, comment down below. But we're going to get them out of the bag so you guys can get a better look at them. But that is a really cool fish. Look, look at the patterns on them. Look at that, you guys. Wow, that is a really cool fish. We're going to get them in the tank. Three, two, one. Wow, that is super cool. There he goes. Oh, he's meeting the puffer fish. Sweet, two down. I think we got three more to go for this box. I think this was the first website, if I'm correct. The second one. I think is definitely the best. So I'm excited for that. What are these guys? Oh, I forgot I got these. Oh my gosh. Another fish I've never seen before. Can you see that? Try to get a good look at these. I don't know if you guys know what they are. I, I didn't even know they existed, but wait till you see what these guys look like. All right, here we go. Check it out, you guys. I got one of them in my hand. Now, uh, do you guys notice anything weird about this fish? Helen, do you notice anything a little off? He's a little see-through. No, that ain't it. Really? You don't know? Oh my God, does he have eyes? <laughs> no, he doesn't have eyes. <laughs> and they're meant to not have eyes. They're called blind cave fish. So I guess they live in caves and they have adapted over time to not even have eyes because they don't need them. That is just insane, you guys. I mean, nature is crazy. And the fact that these exist is just wild. And we got three of them. And yeah, I've never seen them before, but they literally just have no eyes. Here goes the first one into the tank. Look at that. Here goes number two. And here goes number three. They're pretty big. Let's go with this guy. Oh yeah, that's another good one. I've had these before. I still have a couple, but I think they're called dolphin catfish or unicorn catfish. They're really cool. Look at the colors on that catfish. Look at the pattern. Super cool fish. We're going to add them into the tank. 
There he goes. Sweet. And the final one, you guys, is the biggest. We're saving the biggest for last. Right down here is a giant bicher. Now, in the last video, the mystery pond draining, we had a couple bichers in here. However, the really cool part about this one is he's a completely different species than the rest that we have. I've never had one of these. I think they're called inlachery bichers. Look at him in there. That's a literal dinosaur, you guys. Here he goes. <laughs> Wow, look at that thing. That is so sick, you guys. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get all these guys out of here and we're gonna find homes for all of them. We have a lot of ponds, a lot of tanks, and we're gonna find the best spot for each and every one, get them in there, and then we're gonna wait for the second order. We added the bicer into this tank, the unicorn catfish went into this one, and then we added the rest of the fish, including the mystery catfish, the blind cape fish, and the baby fahaka puffer fish into their own aquariums. And now we're gonna wait for the second package to arrive. All three should be coming today, so we'll We'll see you guys in. Oh, go oh God. Oh my gosh, I thought the first one was heavy. This one's a lot heavier. Okay, this is definitely the second order. All right, here we go, you guys. Second box. I'm really excited for this one. Oh yeah, we're gonna start with this guy because this is the smallest one, but he's still really cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this fish before, but this right here, is a baby jow catfish. They're from the Amazon and they get massive and they're known for being super aggressive. So we can't have any other fish in this tank. Otherwise he will eat them. So, oh my gosh, he's so tiny. Look how cool that is. Now when they're babies, they got these really cool spots, really cool patterns. But when they get bigger, they're just a solid dark green. So here he goes into the tank. Oh, they're so cool. A baby jow catfish. One of the rarest catfish that you could buy. Oh my gosh, look at these. Now we've caught these before and I learned they are Apogon catfish and they actually get up to like four feet long, I think. And as you could tell, they're literally like iridescent. They are super cool and a very rare catfish. You don't see these often either. Look at that, look at the colors. They got just a blue, purple, there he goes. And like I said, we got two of them. So there goes the second one into the tank. That is awesome, three fish so far, let's keep going. And it's only gonna get crazier from here. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, it looks like the bag's leaking a little bit, so thank God he's still alive. But that right there is a baby albino Asian red tail. We actually have a bigger one in the pond behind me, but I love them so much. They're one of my favorite fish. When I saw this guy, I knew I had to get him. He is so cute. Look how cool that is. So yellow, that's like solid gold. There you go, into the aquarium. Sweet. All right, let's go with this guy next. This is another bicher. However, as you could tell, this is an albino bicher, a little bit more rare. And he's actually pretty big. I mean, look at that. That is a big old bicher right there. All right, in the tank he goes. All right, now these next two fish are really cool. We're gonna go with this guy. Now this is actually a cichlid, but it's a really, really pretty cichlid. And I've never had one before. Oh my, oh my God. Holy crap, do you see that? That is the prettiest fish I've ever seen, you guys. This right here is a type of geophagus. I think it's pronounced uh, Saveni geophagus. And they're one of the more high-end geophagus. And you can see why. I mean, look at the colors. And that's with him being stressed out. He's been in a box and he still looks that beautiful. Look at that. That is actually the prettiest fish I have ever seen. Beautiful. There he goes. All right. Now we've saved the best for last, in my opinion. Comment down below what your favorite was. But this next one is definitely mine. This right here, I'm sure a lot of you guys guys know already this is a goonch catfish okay i love goonch catfish i have a giant albino one i have a bunch of these and they are famous for getting so big and so aggressive that they are known for eating people in india okay these are literally man eaters i saw this guy on the website and i knew i had to get them can't pass up an opportunity to get another goonch catfish and this one's actually pretty big let's add him to the aquarium there he goes he is feisty so check that out guys we got so many fish from that order so many pretty fish so many rare fish and yeah that was insane look at all of them so now we're going to do the same thing as the first order we're going to get them in their new homes and then we just have one more order to go but don't think i forgot about the stonefish you guys we're still on the hunt for one and like i said i have one more idea and it might work it might not you guys will just have to wait and see all right check it out guys we're going to add the geophagus to this aquarium man look how pretty he is and we're also going to add the goonch catfish in here we already have a bunch so he's going to have some friends here we go there you go buddy oh he's ready to go and after putting the rest of the fish away the final package finally arrived now like i said we got the least amount of fish in this one however the ones that we did get are pretty cool so check this out you guys all right now i see one right down there he's alive where's the other one i know i got two. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, I am so excited for that, you guys. Okay, we got two fish in total. This right here is a golden giant garami. These guys are really cool and they get super big. And he's already a good size too. He's about the size of my hand. So we're gonna go ahead and add him to the aquarium. Look at that, beautiful fish. And now we got one more in here. However, this one is a really good one. You know I love red tail catfish. Well, this right here is called a phantom red tail catfish. We have a platinum already and now we have a phantom. The difference is these guys are a little more pink. You can see he's got some pink to him. He's a little translucent. The platinums are just straight white. Oh my gosh, look how cool that fish is. Wow. Now we're going to go ahead and add them to their new homes. We're definitely going to put that phantom with the platinum and that giant garami. I got the perfect spot for him. The giant garami, we're going to go ahead and add to the quarantine pond. There he goes. And the phantom, we're going to add to this tank. There he goes. If you look to the left, the platinum red tail catfish is hiding right there. So now we have a phantom as well. That is awesome. And now guys, it's time for my final attempt to get ourselves a stonefish. We tried the fish stores, we tried online, but now guys, we are gonna resort to the dark web. Now, while I was doing my research on the stonefish, I came across this weird post online and basically it was a bunch of people talking about stonefish and someone replied to it and said that they have a stonefish and they want to sell it. Now, it's not a website, it's not like an actual fish store, it's just some guy that wants to sell a stonefish. He said he's willing to take $700 and he'll ship it anywhere in the world. The reason I saved this one for last is because I didn't want to do this because it's sketchy. I mean, I could easily get scammed. Um but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> but what gives me a little bit of hope is in the post, he actually took a picture of his stonefish. So I know he has one. It's just the fact if he's actually gonna send me it or not. But I contacted him and I asked if I could buy it, if it's still available. And he said, it's still available. So I'm about to send him $700 for a stonefish. Try to do it. I'm scared, I'm nervous. Three, two, one. I did it. I just sent <laughs> I just sent a random person $700. I don't know what this video is right now. This is pretty crazy. And next time you see me, hopefully we have an update on our stonefish, whether we get it or not. So we'll see you guys then. After sending this person $700 for the stonefish, we waited over a week and a half and we heard nothing from them. I thought I got scammed for sure. And honestly, I gave up on this video and I thought I would never get a stonefish. That was until today when I got a notification from my front door camera. When I went to look, I noticed a really creepy box sitting at my front door. Now, there's no way of knowing if this is actually the stonefish until we open it. But just to be safe, I'm going to be wearing this. We need to be extra cautious right now. You think I'm playing around? You're laughing. After gearing up, we headed outside to inspect the package. All right, I'm scribbling off my address so none of you find me. How long has it been? Like almost two weeks or something since we sent that person the money. I got an alert from the camera and I look and I see this thing sitting here. I don't know if you can tell, but this is not a normal box. I mean, what is this? What is, this is like hazard tape. I don't know what to do with this. I don't even want to open it. I'm sc I'm actually scared right now. This could be anything, okay? And if it is a stonefish, that's even scarier. So let's open this bad boy up. You hear that, right? No water. It doesn't sound like much. No. Wait, I just realized that there is something in here. He's probably just like... <laughs> okay, I don't know what to do, you guys. We have this set up for whatever. I'm a little scared. I'm, I'm I'm more scared. That's why I got these gloves on. I'm really nervous right now. What if he just put like a goldfish in here, you know? Okay. Oh, God. What is that? Is that a note? <laughs> is that a note? You've got to be kidding me. I'm what scared. Like, what if it says like, oh, you just got pranked. <laughs> oh, it's backwards for me. What does it say? What is that below? Oh my God. There's like a tin. Look, there's a bucket or there's like a tin case right there. You see that? Extremely deadly. Come on. Helen, this is a joke. Extremely deadly. Do not handle this fish. If, <laughs> if Stone called 911, are you kidding me? I kind of want to take these off. No. I need control it's over this. Scary. Okay, we'll see what it is first. I don't want to do it. I am so terrified right now. I think you should put the gloves back. Helen, you do it. Me do it. Oh, it's heavy. That's, oh my God. Okay. Oh. <gasps> you hear that? <laughs> you heard that? That's water. I hear water. Oh my God. There's water in here, guys. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. Ready? I'm going to open it. Oh my oh, God. Oh, there's a bag. I saw it. I saw him back. This is actually insane. You have no idea how long this video has, has taken to make. We've been trying to make this video for like two or three weeks, okay? And this is it. If this is not a stonefish, then we're never going to get one. It's just not possible. Ready? Three, two, one. 
There's a, yeah, there is a bag. There's water in Do it. Do you see anything? No. I don't see anything. Wait. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. You think this is a joke? That actually scared me. As I was saying, I see something, I think. I'm so scared right now. You should put the gloves back on. Yeah, because if it is a stone, it could easily spy me through this little plastic bag. Oh my God, Helen. What is that? <gasps> it's moving. Oh my God. That is a, I think that is a stonefish. I think I got to take it out. Helen. Oh my God. Helen, that is a stonefish. Really? Oh my. I think so. <laughs> That's it. That's what we saw in the picture. Oh my. Oh my God, we got a stonefish. We got a freaking stonefish. Yes. You guys, this is huge right now. I literally think we are like the first people to ever make a video having a pet stonefish. Look at that thing. That is it. I am shocked right now. Okay, let's pop open the bag. Carefully. Stand back. This is scary because like it could flop, it could thrash around and then just like spine us, you know? I think we should just empty it out into this first. He's freaky looking. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> holy. That is insane. That is insane. Look at its eyes on top of its head. Wow, look at the fins. Look how, it's actually so pretty. I literally see the spines right there. That's what carries the venom. So we want to stay away from that. <laughs> I want to pick it up. No. I feel like I should. Are you stupid? I want to. He looks friendly. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God you're gonna die. I have gloves on, Helen. I got him. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm holding a stonefish right now. <laughs> I'm holding what is going on? Um, these stonefish can live up to 24 hours out of water because they hold water in their gills. A uh, little fun fact for you guys. Oh ah! my God. Guys, do not. Ah! Oh my God. Don't try this at home as if you guys would ever have the chance to try this at home. I don't know. Look at its eyes on top of his head and look at the spines all along its back right there. Those carry enough venom to where if it were to spine me, I would be dead in probably about an hour. And you're holding it. I can't believe I have it as a pet now. I guess we're gonna go ahead and add him to the aquarium. You guys, this is insane. Please like this video. It was insane and I didn't think it was gonna happen. And here we are and we have a stonefish in our possession, you guys. So this is the aquarium we're gonna add the stonefish into. I think soon we're gonna rescape it, make it look really nice. All we have in here right now is the little frog fish and he's also brackish water. So this is literally perfect. All right, I think, I, I don't wanna risk it. I think we're just gonna dump this water in there because I don't want to grab them again. All right, buddy, go on. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, he looks so good in there. What is he doing? He's like trying to bury himself. Oh my God, that's what he's doing. He's trying to bury himself in the sand right now to camouflage already in two seconds. Look at that, he buried his fins under there and you can see he's got his spikes ready to go. That means he is like threatened, I guess. And uh, if you were to like step on him, he would kill you. This is crazy. I, I can't believe we actually did it, guys. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave him alone for the rest of the day. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cut to two days in the future and I'm gonna give you an update on the stonefish and we're also gonna try and feed them. Stonefish are known for being ambushed predators and watching one eat would be pretty cool. So I will see you guys in two days. Now that the stonefish has settled in, I wanted to test something. Stonefish are known for their camouflage ability and can easily blend into their surroundings. So if I put in some feeder fish, would they even be able to tell that there's a fish in there actively hunting them? And here they go. Let's see if, oh, um, that, that was fast. <laughs> the stonefish stopped moving and he planted himself in the rocks. And I was shocked that the fish were swimming right by it. They literally had no clue that it was a fish. But since the stonefish isn't a very fast swimmer, it was waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. And boom, after 30 seconds, he snatched up his first one. This even scared me behind the camera. You could see me flinch. It was so fast that if you blinked, you would have missed it. In under a minute, he managed to get the rest of them. And this surprised me because they just saw their friends get eaten. However, the stonefish's camouflage was so good, they still had no idea where he was. But since we also have the frogfish in here, another ambush predator, I decided to drop in a few more fish so that maybe he could get some too. But surprisingly, the stonefish beat him to it. He managed to snatch up three more fish in under a minute, in total eating six fish without a blink of an eye. And this proves that the stonefish is a master of disguise especially from the top i literally could not tell the stonefish was even there and if i came across one in the wild i would definitely not see it and if i accidentally stepped on it it could be fatal 
Well guys, I think it's safe to say that this was by far the craziest buying fish video we've ever done. Comment down below what you think we should buy next. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to find out where to get that anti-venom for the stonefish now, just in case, you know. But yeah guys, if you did enjoy this video, please go down there and leave a like, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.